If I'm going to promote one item for my shop, CaseyGolden.com, this week, it's going to be my mix and match enamel face pins. I find them super adorable. They're my favorite thing ever. Mix them, match them, have fun. CaseyGolden.com. So I found myself at my local art shop, as I do quite often, and I saw these adorable tiny little canvas. Look at them. They're so tiny. I've also really been into my gouache paints, so I thought it would actually be really fun to paint a blob of color on each of these canvases and paint something inspired by those blobs. Let's do red, yellow, green, and blue blobs and then i don't know get creative what on this art channel we'll just do a little squirt of each color and here we go i have absolutely no plan for any of these shapes i'm just going to wing it i cannot be held responsible if any of these are phallic sounds like a bunny yeah i like it I don't know what I'll draw yet, but we'll brainstorm later. Should we go more actual blob and less structured? That was a quick one. Why not? I feel like doing a circle, but then doing like a shape inside the circle. I'm kind of not into it being symmetrical, but you know what? That could be a good challenge. Let's see, we'll do like that. And then we'll go out like this. Are these shapes too structured? I almost feel like they're too much of a shape and not just a blob, but I almost feel like that makes it harder. I guess we'll see. Okay, all four of our painted shapes are ready to go. Let's start off with our red blob. All right, so I can't get over the fact that I was thinking of a bunny when I sketched this. So let's do it. And I also thought it would be fun to add another bunny. So let's add another bunny and I will slowly gradient it to our darkest color. It's really hard to paint these super, super tiny blades of grass, but it's going well. Red and green are complements, so I kind of feel like these little guys will fit together. So I'm going to add some cute pink ear colors. Normally I would paint this bunny when it was time, around the grass, but because it's a blob challenge, it's already in the grass. I try to avoid using black when I can, so I've mixed in some purple with the red and a little bit of black just to darken it up, and we've got this dark color. It pretty much just looks like black, but I know it's not black, and it adds just a little bit something. Okay, our bunnies are done, so we will continue with our grass. All right, another row down, and we continue and another row and i think this is going to be the layer of grass i go over the bunny with so here we go and our last layer of grass finally done well we're not done we still have to add the flowers but I'm done with the grass actually that's not true either i like to add little blades of grass just to add additional texture and help separate some of the layers so here we go perfect and the final and finishing touches i like to add a bunch of flowers in these fields because they're cute and adorable and add a lot of texture and additional colors and i love them we'll just start off with my classic fried egg flowers put down this bigger sort of oval shape when the white dries, I put a little, a little yolk in that flower, and it looks like an egg, but it also looks like a flower. And now I go through and add a lot of texture with these little clusters of tiny flowers. These are so much fun. It's a very similar way as I do stars in a galaxy, but we're making little flowers. Adding flowers, adding more flowers. Okay, that's enough for our little white flowers. I think it's time to add just a few pink flowers. A few here, a few here, a few here. And that's it for our first blob. I think it turned out super cute. Two little bunnies in the grass. Next up is our yellow blob, and I was sort of thinking this looked like either a nose, like a big forehead nose, or a big chin nose, or I was also thinking like a tongue sticking up and we have this weird mouth, or I was also thinking a, a weird looking animal with a snout. So I was thinking, let's see, oh gosh, this is going to be, <laughs> I think all of these are going to be animal themed. So we had our bunnies in the grass, and I've got 
our weird head shaped doggy. So he'll be sitting in the grass. Let's give him like a collar. Let's do a bright blue sky. I think that would look really nice with the bright yellow dog. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, this is a good blue to go with that yellow. I think the hardest part about these blobs so far is that I have to paint around the shape and that is so stressful. I mean, I could definitely paint the shape back if I accidentally painted over it, but I'm trying to avoid that. So far, so good. Okay, we're making progress. I'm still super stressed tracing the shape. While I wait for the first layer of the clouds to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the face to our dog so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about when I say this looks like a dog, because you're probably thinking, this absolutely does not look like a dog. You know what? You're right. It doesn't, but we're gonna make it look like a dog. Our little doggy mouth and our little doggy ears. So I'm going to paint the dog's collar red. And by going to paint, I mean I'm literally painting the dog's collar red. And although I could easily add red flowers to add a little bit more red in the piece, what's the dog looking at? Let's put, let's put a little red ball over here in the grass. I think that'll be cute. All right, here we go. Time to paint our little, ooh, that green is, oh, I thought that green was a little bit more, hmm. I can barely see it against that blue, oh no. It's okay, I guess I will be adding some line work. So maybe, maybe it'll be okay. Okay, so this piece definitely needs some difference in color so I'm just going to add a little bit of some shading and some like grass texture not too too much because I don't want this to be I guess the same as my grass field pieces but this piece does desperately need some darker colors and I'm going to use some black to line later but for now we really do need some dark green colors yeah not too much just a little bit here and there. Lastly, I'm going to add a few details to our dog. Like our tag needs some line. Oh my Jesus. Oh my. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I think I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it, why not? This piece just looks super cartoony, so I kind of like the idea of using like a black line, line art to add details. I can't remember that blob that was added to the tag. Oh my god, what have I done? All right, is that it? Is this our uh, our blob dog? Wait, 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 wait. Our classic, and it, it's so cartoon looking. All right, there we go. We have our our blob dog. He's a cutie in his own way, right? Piece, I was actually thinking this might be a little cheap. Well, you'll see what I do later with the cheapness, but for now, I'm thinking alien. So I'm thinking space. I've got black, really deep violet, and a really dark blue to create, hopefully, a fun space gradient color. I'm not going for anything super crazy, though I do want to do, let's see, just like a little bit of pink, just to like add a crazy color in here. Other than that, this is going to be, this is gonna be interesting for sure. I'm just gonna add a lot of paint and bash my brush into the canvas a bunch. There's some slight color you can sort of see there, right? Right, yes. Okay, so we have our whole canvas colored, but I do want a little bit more prominent of that really bright, it's called rose color. And while my paint is still wet, because that's the best time to create gradients, I'm going to add that color. And I don't want it completely to its fullest color because it is quite obnoxious, but I think this will do. Okay, what do we think? It's not super, I guess, contrasty, but I think it's, uh, it's something. Before I add on to our alien creature, I do want to go ahead and add our stars since that'll look a little bit more natural if I add the stars first and then put the, I guess, arms and legs and stuff over that. That way I don't have to work around the arms and legs and it looks a little bit more natural if they overlap. So usually I start off with a very obvious path as you can see. 
we've got a path here and after that I do like to start to fade the stars in their density a little bit out so that it looks a little bit natural and less like a line and more like a cluster that slowly fades out and now I'm going to add a few colored stars just because I think it adds a nice colorful touch and um, I want to um, why not let's add just a couple of blue stars. I like that. Okay, so this is what I have planned for this piece. And like I said, this might be a little bit cheating, but you know what? We're just here to have fun, so whatever. <laughs> so I wanted to create this green alien kitty. So I've got these front paws here. We've got some bigger back legs, hind legs, whatever. Does that look normal? It's a, it's an alien cat. No, no, it doesn't. And this is where I was thinking about cheating. I'm going to, oh my gosh, I'm going to um, paint in this shape black, but you know what? I'm still using the shape. So is it truly cheating? I want to say, I'm going to say no. We're here to have fun, right? Call the art police on me. I dare you. <laughs> Wait, originally I was gonna make the big arms the hind legs, but it might be kind of funny if the big arms are the front arms and the tiny legs are the back legs. And why did I call it arms and then call it legs? I don't know. It's an alien cat. Honestly, they, they could be arms, question mark. Either way, I think this is a cute addition. Little tiny back legs, they're so tiny. I feel like Maybe this little guy needs some eye shines. What if, oh no, what if I added some eye sh Oh no, do I like it? Do I hate it? Honestly, it's kind of creepy, but for an alien, I kind of like it. I, I guess I'll leave it. There, there you go, our, our cat <laughs> alien, I guess. we have this I'll be honest um sus shape yeah it kind of looks like a kicking among us which I would love to avoid so I was sort of thinking it sort of looks like a character with a horn or like an animal with a horn we're very animal themed today so I was thinking maybe it's like a dinosaur so we'll give it a leg <sighs> Put this leg here. We can have like a back leg over here. And let's give it a deserty background just to mix things up. There we go. Maybe we'll throw in a cactus because I love my cacti. Maybe one cloud because it's a deserty situation, right? Maybe, yeah. So I think because our character is a darker blue, I'm going to put a lighter blue background. So here we go. That'll create some nice contrast. Oh no, the classic hardest part of these illustrations is painting around our shape. Stay steady. Don't paint over the shape. Yeah. Uh oh, oh no. Oh no, I got sloppy. Oh no. Oh no. So I think next I'm gonna go ahead with the sand color. Normally I would go ahead with the I guess character color, but I kind of feel like the sand color is, is the way to go. I don't actually know if this is a good green. Okay, it's not the green I would like, but it's not a bad green. It's not a bad green, because that's a bright blue. I think, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. And next up, we need to start painting the rest of our... I almost said dragon. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> But honestly, what's the difference? I know the difference. One's real and one's not. Okay, before we <laughs> paint the limbs, let's paint the face of this dinosaur. All right, so let's add blades of grass, some spotted details because spotted dinosaurs are a thing? Question mark. I'll just add a few details in the sand. Is that it? Are we done? No, we're not. We need lines in our cacti. Check out my website.
website, caseygolden.com, for all of my merch. And a huge thank you to my patrons for their monthly support. You guys are the best. If you want early access to these videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more, check out the link in the description below. Thank you guys also so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!